Hey YouTube, how is it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Two Little Vines channel, what is up? My name is Amy. If you're returning, welcome back to my channel. So this is your daily message for February 3rd. Let's just get started. So before I started, I started doing my own decks today. So I have Twin Flame deck that I'm going to get laminated at some point within the next couple months. And I also made um, an inspiration deck, which is where I'm going to end your reading off with. So I'm very excited to see how you guys like that. So with that, let's just go into the power of love cards. So what I'm getting for you guys, the first card says action. You have the courage to express the unique love and colors of your soul. So whatever you're going through today, take some action and know that, you know, you deserve love. Like February is the month of love for me, right? So I feel like the overall message is that you guys deserve love. You guys deserve to feel love. You guys deserve to give love. So it's like, have, oh, excuse me, have the courage to really express how you feel in the month of February. And ownership is also coming up. So this says, you acknowledge your misdeeds and accomplishments on like and learn to love them all as lessons. So this tells me that you guys have to take ownership for what's going on right now within your life, whether it's good, whether it's bad. Um, just, just take ownership today. I feel like everyone goes through lessons. Everyone goes through things. But um, you have to know at the end of the day that if things aren't going well in your life, if things aren't working out in your favor, it's about you really sitting down with yourself and saying, okay, what can I do to change so I don't continue to feel like this? What can I do to change so, you know, I, I can be a better version of myself? Okay, guys. So moving on. The reason I feel like you guys need to really take ownership of what's going on in your life is because we're starting off your reading with a nine of wands. And that just tells me that some of you are feeling very hopeless. You're feeling very upset. You're feeling very alone in a way. You're kind of feeling like you want to give up because you, I don't know if it's necessarily you don't have the energy to go on anymore or if you feel like nothing is working out in your favor, but it's about taking ownership to in and what's going on in your life. Like, what can you change? There are things in, in life that you're not going to be able to change, but there's also things in your life that you will be able to change. So you need to look at those things and say, well, I can change this or I can change that. Okay, because you are in the driver's seat of your own life. So you have to make that decision to be happy. You got to make that decision to say that there might be someone in your environment and you might be connecting with someone who's not the right fit for you. So it's about really going within yourself and saying, you know, what's what's triggering me? What's making me feel like I'm not worthy of love? What's making me feel in the nine, nine of wands energy? Okay. And we have the tower. So I feel like things may feel like they're crashing around you. Things may be feeling like out of place. You might even be feeling out of place. You might even be feeling stuck. You might even be feeling like your whole world is crashing around you. But I feel like this could be just something that you have going on, like something in your environment or a person is doing this to you in a way where they're emotionally affecting you. They're not good for you. They're triggering you or they're toxic. And I feel like the longer you stay with them, the longer you feel like you're unworthy of love or you're unworthy of having a happy relationship. So I don't know who that's for, but that's what's coming in. So know with the tower moment that things are ending right now, but with every ending comes a new beginning. So, and the hermit, he's here too. So some of you have to really go within right now. There's a really sense of, you know, you need some time for you right now. You need some time to heal, whether it's healing from now or healing from past or both right? So there could be where you need to find the light within you. You need to find what sparks you. You need to find what calls to you. You need to find a passion. You need to hold on to something that drives you. You know, you need to be very independent right now. You just need to focus on you and really grow yourself up as the individual, as the woman or, you know, person that you are, because that's kind of the energy I'm picking up for you guys is that spirit's coming through and saying, you know, you may be on this path for a long time where you weren't happy. You weren't yourself. You didn't feel like yourself. And now you're coming to this point where we're giving you a chance to evolve. We're giving you a chance to grow. We're giving you a chance to, you know, find that light within you again, find that passion. You know, not everyone's going to support you in this journey. We have the six of ones. So not everyone's going to support you. You're going to have haters. You're going to have people who don't believe in you. But at the end of the day, 
you know, it all comes down to as long as you believe in who you are, that's all that freaking matters, guys. All right. It doesn't matter about your followers. It doesn't matter about any of that. It matters about how, you know, you're portraying yourself to be at the end of the day. So I feel like just that message alone right there, that just tells me that someone needs to really go within themselves, really work on themselves for today, really figure out what it is they want out of their life and start making a plan, you know, whether it's, you know, doing some jot notes or, or pros and cons or, you know, jotting down in a journal, whatever it is to kick yourself in the ass to get things started. That's what you guys need to do. And, you know, Three of Pentacles kind of says the same thing. It's, it's building on what you want. It's creating what you want today. It's knowing that you have the ability as, as a single person, as an individual to say, you know what, I'm in the front runner of my life. I can choose to be happy. I can choose to have a committed and honest relationship. I can choose to not entertain fuckboys. I can choose to want to be single. I can choose to put myself back out there, right? You have the ability to make those choices right now. You've got to work towards what it is that you want with the Ace of Pentacles. I do feel like someone wants to come towards you guys. This person wants to make you an offer because we have the Knight of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords. So this person's watching you. This person wants to come in really fast. This person sees what, what, what you have to offer. They see what you have to bring to the table. And I feel like once you're able to get yourself to a place where you feel valuable, where you feel loved... You know, the world is here. So that's completion. That's things wrapping up. That thing, that's new things, you know. It is completion. It is endings. But it's also opportunities. So new opportunities are opening. New doors are opening. And I feel like you need to walk through that. I feel like you guys are in this place now. That once you get that self-love. Once you realize that, you know, you've got to make. You've got to own your choices. You've got to own your decisions. You got to choose the path that's right for you. And you got to allow those things to come through. All right. So that's the short message that I have for you guys today. So some of the cards from my deck says, let love in. Stop blocking your blessings. If no one has told you this today, I will. I love you. If you smiled more, you'd have less wrinkles. Just saying. And the answers are within you guys. All right. So that is your message today for February 3rd. I hope you guys liked it. I hope it makes sense. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you guys again soon.